In this session, we will continue with the summer applications of Gasla. Let us consider uh, a uniformly charged infinite branch sheet. So, we will uh, try to obtain the electric field due to this uh, charge distribution by using Gasla. So, the charge distribution is is a infinite uh, frame charge distribution here uh, let us say the surface charge density is rho is coulomb per meter square and it's a uniform charge distribution so by applying gauss law we will uh, obtain the electric field density due to this charge distribution. So, a convenient uh, Gaussian surface in this problem is a cylindrical surface or what is known as a fill box. So, the, this fill box is uh, of uh, let us say the radius is R. And uh, its uh, height is two L. That is, uh, this uh, radius is R, and uh, so this height is. Total height is 2L and uh, this uh, sheet of charge is symmetrically dividing this spill box. So, from the knowledge of the field distribution, we know that here the field in this uh, side of the surface is upwards, whereas in this side of the surface is, it is downwards. Therefore, we can see that this surface uh, which has uh, four parts that is S1, S2. So, here S1 is the top surface, S2 is the vertical surface which is above the plane sheet and uh, this is S3 and this is S4. So, S4 is the bottom surface and uh, S3 is the the vertical surface but below the branch sheet. The flux emerging from this uh, closed surface is uh, consisting of four surface integrals. One over S1, other over S2, and uh, the integral over S4. So, from this figure, you can see that the flux density D is uh, tangential to the surface H2 and also here it is tangential to surface S3. So therefore, no flux can emerge from H2 and S3. Flux can emerge only from S1 and S4. So therefore, the second and third terms here are 0. So, the integral over S2 is 0 and also the integral over S3 is 0. Here, the flux is uh, normal to surface S1 
and also it is normal to surface S4. So therefore, the integral over S1 is equal to d into ds and because d is same over the surface entire surface S1 it is also we can see that the flux emerging from the bottom surface that is S4 is uh, given by so one important point here is the flux density at a height L above the plane sheet is same as the flux density below the plane sheet which is at a distance L from the sheet of charge. So therefore the value of D here at S4 is same as the value of D at S1. So, but this can be written as so the flux emerging from the closed surface That is sum of all the terms is given by 2d into pi r square. Now the charge enclosed within the closed surface. So here only this portion that is a, a circular region of radius r only this region is within the closed surface. So that is the charge that is contained within the circular region is enclosed by the closed surface. So therefore and uh, since the charge density is uniform the charge within the surface is rho s into pi r square. So this is the charge enclosed within the closed surface. So by applying gas law we can equate these terms 1 and 2 and we will get or d is equal to rho s by 2. So this is the electric flux density and E is given by rho s divided by 2 epsilon naught volts per meter.